<clears throat> Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you, Carlos? Fine. Thank you, teacher. And you? I'm fine too. Thanks for asking. How was your day today? I'm very today. I, I am very no no no. How do you say the opposite to busy? Uh, well, you could say not too busy. Okay. okay. Not too busy. Mm -hmm. That's a good expression. Okay. 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 Okay, today I, I not was to visit teacher. Okay, good. <laughs> Just enough. Just enough. Yes. <laughs> okay, great. I'm seeing here that Rosita is having problems. She has not connections, she, she says. So I am replying the text. Okay, there we are. Hello, Leslie, how are you? Here is Carlos too. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you today? I'm fine, teacher, and you? I'm fine, very fine. Thanks for asking. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I feel good today, I feel good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You change location in your office? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I moved. I moved because of the traffic. <laughs> yeah, I moved. Now, today I am uh, against the wall here, right? Uh, because I was on the hole. I was on the hole. So everyone wanted to cross at the time that, I, that we were on class. So um, especially my husband. <laughs> So that is why I had a change. Change. Yeah, I had a move. I had a move. Mm -hmm. okay, uh, I hope uh, you won't mind it. Okay. 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 Yeah, because here we have some things like wood and stone, and you know, it's really fresh. This corner is very fresh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Sandra. How are you? Are you okay there? Hello, Angeli. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Yes, Rosa, you could make it. Sandra. Good evening, teacher. Okay, great. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening. Thank God you could make it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, I was worried about you. Uh, let's see, Angeli Magali, how are you today? Hi, teacher. I'm uh, fine. Okay, great. Hello, Elvia. How are you today? Are you ready for the class? Hi, teacher. Hi. <laughs> Sandra Beatriz, uh, you told me that you had a good day today. Okay, that's nice to hear. I am tired, teacher. Are you? I am, okay. I am asleep. Are you sleepy? Okay, yeah. yeah. I can understand that. I understand that. But let's see if we can move just a little, you know, <laughs> our thoughts and everything comes up today <laughs> and we can get something new. Okay. Uh, God's will, we are going to work a lot today. Okay. So today's Friday. Good Friday. Good so, Friday. Sandra, are you ready for the party that you said yesterday? <laughs> today's friday yeah so i was just saying just saying no, no. <laughs> okay you're That's too tired no. <laughs> okay you're too tired good good okay then we're gonna start with the um, 
with the attendance list, okay? I'm going to take the attendance, even though your classmates are not connected, all of them. So I'm going to check because that's the rule here, okay? That's our schedule. So let's start. Angeli Magali Coronado Diaz. Present. Thank you. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernandez. Present teacher. Okay. Carlos Ernesto Rogel, not yet, right? Um, Eduardo Ademir, not yet, I think. Uh, Eleani, not yet either. Eleani Alejandra Nativi Rivera. Elvia Yanet Beltrán de Cabrera. Present teacher. Okay. Fausto Antonio Landa Verde López. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Carla Marielos Guevara Callejas. Walter Mau, uh, after Carla, let me see. Leslie Fernández Ochoa. Presentation. Okay. María Fernanda Gavidia Guerrero. Rita Beatriz Cabrero Desea. Rosa Esperanza Vázquez de Girón. Present teacher. Okay. Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martínez. Present teacher. Okay. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Okay. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Not yet. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Okay. William Isaac Montoya Ávila. Okay. Let me see because I'm checking that Edward Noyola, right? Edward Present. Noyola Brito. Present teacher. Good okay. evening. Good evening. Are you okay, Edward? Yes, I am okay. Okay, great. Wow. I'm just taking your attendance here and the correct box. One moment. Oh, wow. So today is Friday the 23rd, okay? Remember that um, you have to do your homework every day. Um, and today is the ninth conference, I think, right? So it means that on Monday, on Monday you have to do or prepare for the midterm test on the platform, okay? Remember that, take that in consideration and your schedules, please, because you cannot miss that. You cannot miss that because um, you are not going to get the grade, okay? So please, please, please do. Okay, guys, are you ready? Ready, teacher. Okay, good, good, good. Yes, teacher, I'm ready. Okay, nice, nice. Let's see. We're gonna start today with um, a question, okay? I want to ask you a question and I need your answers. I need every one of you answer this question, okay? I need answers. Just let me share this screen and I'm going to ask this question okay
yesterday we were talking about the problems that a customer can have when buying a product. And maybe the product could be not functioning as it is supposed to. So let's think, what issues? Issues mean problems or situations, weird situations um, that affect you um, with something, okay? So issues means a situation or a problem, troubles, okay? So let's see, what issues do you think a customer might have before, during, and after purchase, okay? What issues do you think a customer might have before, during, and after purchase, okay? So I need answers. Let's think about this. Teacher. Yes, tell me. Some issues could be uh, if I, I, I bought a TV. Mm -hmm. and when I receive, receive it, uh, maybe it doesn't work. Okay. And maybe it could be too, it's not the dimension that I, uh, I required. Mm -hmm. Or okay. um, let me see what more. What else? What else? Or the warranty, or it. Um, how do you say, teacher? No era lo que yo esperaba. How do you say it? Um. Well, it wasn't what I expected. It wasn't, wasn't what I expected, okay? It wasn't what I expected. But in this case, when this thing was not what you expected, um, what problems do you think that comes up or what's the cause for that? I could say, I could say that maybe they promised a different thing in the advertisement, okay? So okay. they, I refer to the company, okay? Mm -hmm. They promised a different thing on ad or ads, okay? Ads is short for advertisement or advertising, okay? Okay. Okay. I think that teacher because I can, I can buy some TV, but mm -hmm. the seller can, uh, cool mm -hmm. uh, says me uh, it is, is equal an Android TV mm -hmm. could be uh, uh, a smart TV but the functions could be different okay you needed that smart TV for some purpose and it didn't feel the need that you had. Is that correct? You thought that the smart yeah. TV had some functions and it didn't, okay? Good, so they promised a different thing okay. on ads. Because it's a smart TV, it is supposed to have those functions, okay? So yes, that's correct. So let's see, yeah. uh, what do you think? Um, Rosa, what do you think? What issues do you think a customer might have before, during, and after purchase? 
uh, about the warranty teacher. Okay, what do you think that it could be happening there? No, no, I know it's expected with the, the, the years. Okay, uh, we could say no warranty. The year, the, uh -huh, no warranty. Uh -huh. uh, the years. Oh, years. Uh, okay, then. Años, años de garantía. <laughs> okay. Los años de garantía. Uh -huh. You think that will be a problem? Um, uh, we could say product. Que no, uh -huh. Product no. Has no. No. No warranty. Okay, has no warranty. Mm -hmm. Okay. Warranty. Or we could say the warranty is not long. It's not long, okay. Okay, the warranty is not long enough, we could say, right? Mm -hmm. It's not long enough. Okay. Let's see, Elvia, what do you think? Change the price. Okay, let's see. Uh, can you explain a little more? You said change. The price. The price. Uh, uh, okay. Teacher, I don't like the food. Okay. I don't like. Okay. Uh, the. Okay. The customer, because we are talking about a customer. Customer doesn't like the product anymore okay anymore this is as if we say ya no le gusta right ya no le gusta this like this sentence means that the customer doesn't like the product anymore okay Okay, thank you, Sandra. Now let's go back to Elvia. Change the price. What do you think, um, Elvia, about that? Give me an example, please. When do you think mm -hmm. uh, change the price could be a problem? Mm -hmm. Like different prices? different okay for example let let's think maybe uh, tell me if i understood correct okay maybe you refer for example yesterday i went to a store and i saw a smart tv for example as um wilfredo said okay and the tv was in the normal normal price okay in the standard price so let's think that tomorrow that smart tv is on sale okay then it could be a problem right it could be a problem because i paid the full price and maybe two hours later it has a discount okay is that what you mean yes Okay, then we could say different, different um, price, price of purchase. Okay, different price of purchase. For example, okay. when I bought it, it was in, on a full price. And two hours later, it, it is on sale. So I, I go, what do you think I may do? What do you think I might do? Mm, what I would do, what I would do, 
is to call customer service and say, hey, look, two hours ago, I bought this TV and you sold it and or you charge the full price. So please let me talk to your supervisor because I need the, this discount that you have in the advertisement. And it was only two hours ago, right? So I asked for that discount. Yes, that could be an issue. That could be an issue, okay? So let's continue. Let's continue. Edward, what do you think about this question? What issues do you think a customer might have before, during, and after purchase? Uh, an issue may be when I receive um, pro, uh, receive damage product. Okay. For example, um, TV. Mm -hmm. The the imaging is not very very good. The image, okay. The image. The, so the it image. means like the resolution is oh. not correct. Okay. okay. Resolution. Is that correct? Resolution. Okay. Okay, damaged product. And there is no way to fix it, okay? There is no way to fix it. So do you think that that's a defective um, product? Damage means that it suffered something in, during the transportation, for example, if it got broken or maybe the remote is missing okay or the remote is um uh, smashed or the um, buttons are not in good shape so that's damaged product but in this case if there is no way to fix it then it's called faulty product okay faulty product when there is no way to fix it and from the um, producer, it comes with these failures, okay? Then it's called faulty product, okay? Faulty product. Good, everybody agree with this? Okay, okay. Okay, everybody okay with this? Damaged product means that when you received it, it is broken, it's stained, or maybe parts missing. Okay, then damaged product. But faulty product means that from the producer, the, it comes with this failure and it's not possible to fix it. That's the difference between those. Okay. Okay. Maybe maybe, maybe say um, damage um, to refer um, external damage, or so, but and faulty product is internal parts. So. Okay. There is no way to fix it. It cannot be repaired. It cannot be repaired if it is a faulty product. Okay, it cannot be repaired. Correct? Good. So let's see. Um, Leslie, what do you think? I need an answer for this question. What um, issues? Mm -hmm. uh, maybe the product do is not come in good condition. Okay, the product is not in good condition. Can you give me an example of that, please? Uh, uh, for, a, for example, uh, about a, a, a drone. Uh -huh. um, uh, ¿Cómo se dice él? Dicen... Uh, uh, let me look it up. Let me look it up because I don't know. It, it has to be like hell, helly something, right? But let me, let me see that. Let's look it up, guys. How do we say Elise? Okay. 
cannot go. Let me look it up, please. Did you find it? Uh, at least say propeller, mm -hmm. propeller, a propeller, propeller, okay. propeller. Okay. Uh, uh, Thank you very much, Edward. Mm -hmm. Or a spiral, the corkscrew. So yeah, it's a helix. Because that's what it's called, helicopter, okay? Because of the helix. But uh, just let me see. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe uh, fun for um, equipment electronic. Okay, a failure. Oh, broken propeller. Yes, it, it says propel, propeller here. Propeller, propeller, propeller. I didn't know that word. I didn't know that word. Okay, thank you very much for showing me this. Okay, let's see. Let's continue. Let's imagine that the propeller is um, having problems. Okay, Leslie, continue. Propeller, propeller. The propeller is broken. Okay, it's broken. So um, that could be, it's not in good condition. Okay, let's see this. Let's see this. If it is broken, it is damaged. So we cannot say a different thing. If it is broken, it is damaged. Now, in good conditions could be, for example, that uh, I'm going to buy these glasses, okay? These lenses. So maybe it has a scratch on it, a scratch on it. It's not broken, it's not damaged, but it has maybe, or they are dirty, okay? They are dirty. If they are dirty, okay, they, that's not in good conditions. For example, good conditions also means that every part is in the correct position. Okay, so that's in good conditions too. Or maybe, um, have you seen those products that they have on the display? And they say, this is the last product in stock. So if you take it, if it doesn't have an exchange and uh, no guarantee, why? Because everybody has, um, has taught, taught it, okay? So if everybody uh, put their hands on it, maybe it is dirty, maybe it is, um, it doesn't look as new, Okay, it doesn't look as new. Maybe it looks like used. That's in good conditions, okay? That's in good conditions. Okay, there we go. Let's continue. Um, we are going to see an, another... Okay. We're going to see another. Oh, gosh. There we go. Another question. Another question. And I need those who didn't participate before with the last question. Um, please, uh, it's your turn. Okay, so we are talking about uh, Walter. Angeli, Francisco, Silvia, um, Carlos Antonio. I need your answers. What may a customer do if a product he bought is not in good conditions? What do you think?
Okay, what may a customer do if a product he bought is not in, in good conditions? What do you think? I think, teacher, that the customer must call to the company and okay. ask for a refund or for a replace. Okay, let's use the information in the question. The customer may call mm -hmm. customer service and ask uh, for a refund. Okay, what if this customer really needs this product? but it is not in, in good conditions. What do you think this customer may ask to serve uh, to customer service? What do you think, Angeli? I think uh, the customer needs to change the product. Okay, that process is called Mm, okay, I'm going to use the information in the question to answer. The customer may ask for an exchange. Okay, exchange. Mm. Exchange. Sure. There we go. Okay, the customer may ask for an exchange. This customer really needs this product and he doesn't want his money back. He needs a product that fulfills the need, okay? So the customer may ask for an exchange. It means that he may return the product, okay? The customer may return the product and ask for an exchange, okay? The customer may return the product. It could be in the physical store, depending on the policies, okay? Depending on the policies. Now, are we okay with this, Carlos Antonio? Or do you think that the customer may do something else? I think it's, it's, it's okay, but if, if the customer service is not help to the customer, uh -huh. he can in, in, in our, our country, uh -huh. he can call to the Nine one zero. Uh, oh, okay, to, good. To make a, 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 in, how a claim, a claim, claim. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. a claim to report this issue, right? Yes. That he didn't receive the product or the need. I mean the. Um, uh, the service that he was asking for or he paid for, right? Yeah, yes. correct. Excellent, Carlos Anton. So in this case, he may um, claim or complain. Okay, claim or complain about the product. And um, what's the name of this? Okay, this is in El Salvador. This is in El Salvador, but there is um, a unit in the United States too to do that. Okay, you you can feel a claim. I don't remember the um, the name of the the uh, the department or the unit, the government unit to do that. But yes, you may do it. You may do it, and also it includes the taxes, right? It includes the taxes. So let's think about, okay, that 
he doesn't go to um, he doesn't go to that unit from the government maybe in the company uh, he can feel in a claim okay fill in a claim okay there you go there you go so are we okay yeah. with this yes tell me claim is like a reclamo yes yes it is okay mm -hmm. thank you yes it is okay good so let's continue with the other questions this is taking us to uh uh to start a conversation and maintain it okay so let's continue with the other question just let me erase this and let's go to the next question what would you do for the customer if a product you offer is not in good conditions. That was what the customer may do, right? But here is what would you do if you are the customer service agent, for example, okay? If a product you offer is not in good conditions, what do you think? Solutions here, okay? Solutions, let's think about solutions. First teacher, mm -hmm. the seller has to give to the customer her, her or his apology. Okay, great. And try apologize. to apologize. Mm -hmm. Try they to have the problem try with to literacy. Talk with the customer that, yeah. And try to, to talk with the customer uh, about the problem. Okay. And maybe uh, uh, get a solution for the customer. Don't don't be angry. Okay. Maybe change the product or or give his money. Okay, great. So in this case, first of all, he says apologize, and then he would um, hear and understand the problem, okay? Hear the customer, hear the customer, and understand the problem, okay? To offer a good solu solution, right? To offer a good solution. So after that, he uh, sees, okay, you see. Um, possible solution okay a uh, possible see sí, solution yes solution i'm sorry okay see a possible solution good or look for a possible solution now what do you think um let's see who was missing here francisco eduardo let's see can you give me an answer for this question? What would you do for the customer if the product you offer is not in good conditions? Okay, teacher. Um, uh, or maybe... Um, Eh, no sé cómo se diría, pero eh, tras, eh, how do you say in English eh, llevar el, el producto al departamento de mantenimiento? Ok, take. O sea, porque, por ejemplo, eh, hay unos, así como por ejemplo, Omnipol, creo que tiene un departamento de mantenimiento ahí, en la sala. ¿verdad? Okay, I will say in a general way, in a general offer, 
one thing. Okay, offer to repair the product. Okay. Offer to repair the product. Okay. okay. Is that correct? Offer to repair the product. In this case, you say that you would, uh, let's see, yes, you would ask the customer to take the product to the fixing department, okay? Or to the repairing department or the technician department, uh, department or to the, um, to the support, okay? Or technical support, right? Technical support, um, yeah, department. You got it? Is that okay? Okay, teacher, thanks. Okay, uh, let's say it again to the technical support department, okay? So let's see, what would you do, Walter, if the product that you offer is not in good conditions? What would you do? for the customer? Uh, offer you a new product? Offer? Uh, with a better quality? Another product, okay. You? Another product. Mm -hmm. Of uh, better with quality. Okay. Excellent. Uh, and it gives more of the warranty. Okay. Mm, let's see. Uh, check the warranty policy. Is that correct? Teacher, uh, uh -huh. maybe check the warranty okay. period. Okay. Um, if the product uh, is, no sé cómo, uh, how do you say todavía? Applies, applies. applies. If it applies, uh-huh. If it applies. For, um, let's do it again. Okay, check if, uh, if the warranty uh, policy still applies, okay? Still applies. Because some sometimes um, there are customers that are used to do this is another problem, okay, or another issue. I'm going to write it down here. What robbing? What robbing? What robbing? Okay. What robbing? Don't remember if it is with a double B or only one B, but let's say that it is war robbing, okay? It means that these customers love, love to buy a product, an expensive one. They use it, they use it, but then they return it and they want a money back guarantee, okay? Or a money back and they say any lie about the product to get the refund. So that's an issue. 
war robbing, okay? War robbing. We have to make sure that this is not happening, okay? In this case, we must um, check if the product is for real in, in not in good conditions, okay? That's a very good point too. Check if the warranty policy still applies. That's a very good point. Okay then, so now we have a general idea about the issues. We have idea of what would you do. So we are talking about solutions that you may offer. So tonight, we are going to work together completing a conversation first and then we are going to practice it, okay? Just let me explain something very important. This is very important and let me go there. We have learned that can and could, it's can, it's, it is polite. Could, it's more polite, okay? To offer or to request information. But then we saw that may and might is very and really polite, okay? Just like in uh, another level. But there is another uh phrase that we use in like the most polite way to request for something, okay? This is the most polite way that you can use to say or to express what you want or what you need or what you want someone else do. So let's read the, the uh, let's read these sentences. What would you like to do? What would you like to do? This is really, really polite. For example, if you men are going to um, ask what your girlfriend or your wife wants to do, please use this question. It's really, really polite. What would you like to do, honey? Okay, what would you like to do? That's really polite. What would you like to do? Next one, what uh, would you like to ask for a refund or an exchange? Then the customer is gonna think, oh, this person is very kind. It's offering in a very polite way. Now, let's see in a sentence or in an answer, a polite way to say what they want or what someone wants. I'd like to return this computer. It has the screen broken. Usually, usually customers that receive a damaged product are not so happy and so pleased. And they say, I'd like to return this computer. No, right. Usually, what's the tone that they do? Uh, do you, can you tell me what tone an angry customer uses? Can you read that sentence for me in an angry way? Teacher, maybe give me an uh, answer right now. <laughs> What, what, what? Uh, uh, give me an uh, answer right now. <laughs> oh, yes, it's true. Angry customers. Okay, give me a solution. If it is not possible, please, uh, I need to talk to your give me supervisor. A mm -hmm. Okay, they're right asking for a solution. But <laughs> let's think. Let's think that these angry customers start with a polite way to ask what he wants. I'd like to return this computer. It has the screen broken. Okay, the intonation and his, his way will be rude, even though he's using a very polite language. So let's read the other one. I'd like to exchange these t-shirts. They are in the wrong color. Maybe a company, right? Or maybe a secretary is um, 
asking for that. I'd like to ask for a refund. This air conditioner is faulty. This is the word that we were saying, faulty. Okay, I'd like to ask for a refund. This air conditioner is faulty. It doesn't work properly. Okay, so let's see. I would like is the same as I'd like. Let's pronounce this. Activate your audio, please. And we are going to pronounce this. I would like. I would like. I could I like. Would like. I 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 would like. Okay, now with the contraction is I'd like. I'd like. I'd like. I'd like. Okay, then we have I would I would not. I would not like. I would not like. I would not like. Now let's say it a little faster. I would not like. I would not like. I would not like. I would not like. You can see sometimes uh, in a different order, like I would like not, I would like not. And it's correct too. It depends on the context. But at the moment, we are going to learn I would not like. Okay. I would not would like. I, I don't like like. Now let's see the contraction pronunciation. It is I wouldn't like. like. I, I wouldn't, wouldn't like. like. I could like. Wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't like. 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 Okay, now please repeat after me these sentences. What would you like to do? What would, what would you like to what do? What would you like to do? Would you like to ask for a refund or an exchange? Would you like to ask for a refund or an exchange? An exchange. An exchange. Okay. I'd like to return this computer. It has the screen broken. I would like, like to return the computer. It has the screen broken. Excellent. I'd like to exchange this t shirt. I like, I like, I like to exchange these t shirts. They are, in the they are in the wrong color. They are in the wrong color. Okay, okay. now let's say both sentences together. I'd like to exchange these t shirts. They are in the wrong color. I'd like, like to exchange to these t shirts. These they, they are in the wrong color. Color. Okay, I'd like to ask for a refund. I'd like, I'd like to I'd ask like for a refund. This air conditioner is faulty. This air conditioner is faulty. Okay, now let's say both sentences together. I'd like to ask for a refund. This air conditioner is faulty. I like to ask for a refund. This air conditioner is faulty. Okay, we could we could substitute the product here with another product. Okay, we can substitute. For example, instead of a computer, what product could we say? I'd like to return, it has the screen broken. Let's substitute. This telephone. This? Cell phone. Excellent, this cell phone, excellent. I'd like to return this cell phone, it has the screen broken. Good, good. Can you tell me another product with this sentence? And please read the complete sentence. Another product. Television. 
Okay, can you please say the complete sentence? Okay. I like to return this television. It has the screen broken. Excellent, Wilfredo. Now let's go with the other one, the next one. I'd like to exchange these t-shirts. They are in the wrong color. What do you think? What do you think uh, of another product? Can you say this? Hey, teacher. Mm -hmm. I'd like to exchange these jeans. They are in the wrong color. Excellent. Excellent, Edward. Um, let's see. Can you give me another another sentence with a different product? Sandra, can you please? Another product, instead of t-shirts, let's change t-shirts for another, a different product. Good, shoes. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Let's see, Leslie. No more cookies. Let's see who was it. There we go. Okay, good. Excellent. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's think about the shoes. I'd like to exchange these shoes. They are in the wrong color. Good. Next one. I'd like to ask for a reason. This air conditioner is faulty. Can you give me this sentence, but with another product? A different product that could be faulty? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. I'd like to ask for a refund. This car is faulty. Okay, this car is faulty. Good, excellent. So now we know how to say some issues with the products. Now we know how to say solutions to a problem with a product after, during, and before the purchase. So right now, what do we have to do? Okay, we are going to um, set a conversation together. Okay, just let me add here. Let's see, I'm going to add. Okay, one moment. I'm going to add a slide. And here we are going to start the conversation. Okay. You are going to give me, you are going to give me through the chat questions and answers. Let's imagine that you have a problem with a product. I'm going to start, okay? I'm going to start. So the first one. I'm going to do it into the... Into the... For two, we are pretending this conversation is between a customer and a customer service agent, okay? So, 
thank you for calling. Um, and let's think about, oh, shoes, okay. Shoes Inc. How can I help you? Okay. Okay, what do you think it could be the problem with some shoes? Through the chat, please. Everybody on the chat, writing questions. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. But I can see here in the chat. Are you writing on the chat? Okay, do you think a shoe could be broken? Yeah, maybe the heel, right? Maybe they're, they are high heels, okay? So let's see. Hello. Mm -hmm. My name is Carlos. Carlos Murillo, uh huh. And I need your support because the shoes I bought. Let's see. Because the shoes I bought, uh huh, we're going to say high heels. High heels. We're saying high heels. Mm -hmm. are broken. Oh, oh. Are broken. Okay. What do you think this customer rep is going to answer to that? First of all, Remember that Wilfredo said, apologize, right? Is there a way to apologize here? I'm sorry 
about that. Let Who me that? <laughs> uh -huh. let me see if we can fix this situation. Okay. Oh, this is a problem here because we need to be A here. Hmm? Now let's go to A, B. Oh, again. Oh, wait. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry about that. Let me see if we can fix this situation. The first thing that you are going to ask is for the receipt, right? Do you have the receipt? The receipt. This is to prove that you bought that product in that store. Mm -hmm. Oh, excellent, Rosa. This is when you are asking for some information, right? This is when you're asking for some information. Okay, we are going to do that. <laughs> okay, maybe the shoes is not style what I order. Good, excellent, excellent. The shoes are because is a pair, right? So the shoes are not the style that I order, okay? Good. Let's see here. Aha, uh -huh. broken. Let's imagine the problem that Francisco told us. The shoes aren't, the shoes aren't, they style, I ordered, I ordered. Okay, this is one problem from Carlos, okay? And this is one problem from Francisco, okay? Correct. This is for you to take the idea. Now, I'm sorry about that. Let me see if we can fix this situation. Do you have the receipt? Okay, then what can we offer here? We could say, A, yes, I do. This is the purchase order. Let's say a number, guys, a purchase order number. Mm, two, three, give me numbers. Excellent. Three, four, three, five, three, five, three. Good. Three, four, three, five, three, five, three. Excellent. Then what are we going to say? Thank you. Uh, would you like, okay, would you like to ask for a refund or would you like to, would you like an X change, okay? Or would you like an to ask for, to ask for an exchange, okay? Then what do you think the customer is going to say? Write a question, guys or an answer for that question. 
on the chat, please. An answer for, would you like to ask for a refund or would you like to ask for an exchange? What do you think the customer is going to say? Guys? Let's see. I think that the, okay. Mm -hmm. I don't, okay, I would, I would, okay. I wouldn't. for an exchange. I, I'd like a refund. Then the person has to, excellent Walter Mauricio, perfect. Good. Okay. Thank you, teacher. So and let's see to, in letter. Yes, I can see. I can see, but no problem. Here we are. We are doing the job. You may um, you may get notations, and then uh, the time that we break out to practice the conversation, then it will be your opportunity to practice. Okay, no problem. Just send the text on the chat. I wouldn't like for an exchange. I'd like a refund, okay? What do you think that the customer agent is going to say, the customer service agent? I'll be happy to assist you. with that, okay? First, you have to return the shoes, correct? First, you have to return the shoes. And then we finish the conversation at the moment. Later, we may add some more at the time that you practice with your classmate, okay? So just before of going, before of going to the rooms to, uh, to practice this conversation, uh, just let me copy this and send it to you. I think this is the one. I will send it to you. So we are going to practice this conversation but first of all, we are going to take the attendance, okay? There we go. Angeli Magali Coronado Diaz. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernandez. Present teacher. Carlos Ernesto Rogel. <clears throat> Carlos Ernesto Rogel. Okay. Um, Edward Ademir Noyo Labrito. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Eleani Nativi Rivera. Elvia Yanet Beltrán de Cabrera. Present teacher. Fausto Antonio Landaverde López. Present teacher. Carla Marielos Guevara Callejas. Present teacher. Leslie Fernández Ochoa. Present teacher. María Fernanda Gavidia Guerrero. Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. 
Rosa Esperanza Vázquez de Girón. Present teacher. Okay. Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martínez. Present teacher. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Teacher, I'm here, Francisco. Okay, yes, I Ah, thank you, thank you. Uh, e and William Isaac Montoya Avila. Okay, I think William is not coming back. Okay, guys, so now we are going to break. Oh, good. That's a good one. That's a good one. Excellent. This is an, another option. Excellent. <laughs> good. <laughs> he's, he's taking care for that. Okay, good. good. <laughs> Excellent. So you imagine what is going to happen if you say that answer? What may I talk to your supervisor? <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, then. Um, let's see. I'm going to break this room into the practice rooms. And um, after that, I will be sending the picture. Okay. Remember that we are pretending or our role is going to be as a customer service agent and a customer with a problem. You are solving a problem. This is a conversation we made together. If you want, you can substitute and practice with your own ideas. I'm going to let you um, uh, free in your creativity, okay? So at the moment, just let me create this groups. And no, there you are. <laughs> and I will send. Okay, I'm sending the conversation for you to have it handy. Compartí la voz porque mi ayer quise Carla, compartir un gusto. I sent you the, the conversation on the group, so you may go over there in the chat. Thank you, teacher. Okay, good. I want to hear you guys. I'm sorry, teacher. My either is not good. Okay, okay. But did you receive the the image? Did you receive the image yes. of the conversation? Okay, you have it handy. Uh, Carla, do you have it? Did you receive it? Yes. Okay. 
Are you okay, Fausto? Yes, teacher. Okay, you may start. Um, solo la voy a compartir. Oh, okay. Okay. Ah, uh, start or uh, yes. you? Yes, you are A and Carla B. Carla. Carla is the customer. Okay, come and Yes. Okay, Carla, you start. Okay, then Carla is the agent. Good. Thank you for your calling. Choose in. How can I help you? Hello, my name is uh, Fausto Mandaverde. Uh, and I need your support because they choose uh, I bone high heels are broken. I'm sorry about that. Let me see if we can fix this situation. Do you have the receipt? Yes, I yes I do. Okay, wait, wait, wait. There is a mistake in there. There is a mistake and let's fix it. Because, I'm um, sorry about that. Let me see if we can fix the situation. Then is the same person who, who asked for the receipt. Okay, the agent. The agent asked for the receipt. So letter B is not correct. Uh, just let me see. Okay, this is not correct. Teacher, yo, yo le tengo que decir, do you have there? Yes, you, you have to say that. Do you have uh, the receipt? And then A is going to say, yes, I do. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have the receipt? Um, yes, I do. This is the purchase order. This is the purchase order, uh, three, four, three, five, three, five, three. Thank you. Would you like to ask for a report? Or would you like to ask for exam? An exchange. 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 I wouldn't like for a shame. I like a reform. Teacher, I quiero decir. Ajá, letter B again. Ajá. Okay, this is letter B. Switch. Yes, letter B. Mm -hmm. And this is letter <coughs> A. Okay. And ¿Cómo se pronuncia? This is B. You got it? ¿Qué al principio? Mm -hmm. No le entiendo. No entiendo muy bien. Where? Ahí donde dice ir o oh, no sé. Be happy to assist. I'll. I'll be I'll. happy to assist you with that. I, I'll be happy to assist you with that. Mm -hmm. you have to return the shoes. Okay. Excellent. 
Yes, uh, we can also substitute I'll for I would be happy, okay? I would be happy and it will be okay too, okay? I would be happy to assist you with that. First, you have to return the shoes and then uh, it continues, okay? The conversation, but at the moment it's just having an idea of how to um, say a problem and how to offer a solution, okay? What is the problem here? Uh, we are reporting that the high heels are broken. And then you offer a solution, a refund or an exchange. And the solution is start with returning the shoes, correct? Okay, teacher. Okay, try to, try to continue, try to practice again and I have to tell all the others that this is a problem. Just let me. Okay. Okay, I took the, I took it. So I'm going to leave the room and please continue. Go ahead. Okay. okay. support because the shoes are in the style I order. I'm sorry about that. Let me see if we can fix the situation. Do you have the receipt? Yes, I do. This is the purchase order. Three, four, three, five, three, five, three. Thank you. Would you like to ask for a refund or would you like to ask for an exchange? I wouldn't like for a exchange at Laya for found. I'll be happy to assist with to assist you with that. First you have to return the shoes. Okay, now uh, I level A and you level B. Thank you for calling okay. Shoes Incorporate. How can I help you? Hello, my name is Magali and I, and I need your support because the shoes I bought high health are broken. I'm sorry about that. Let me see if we can fix the situation. Do you have the receipt? Yes, I do. This is the purchase order. Three, four, three, five, three, five, three. Thank you. Would you like to ask for a refund or would you like to ask for a change? I wouldn't like to, I wouldn't like for an exchange. I'd like a refund. He'll be happy to assist do that. Feel you have to return the shoes. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. okay, excellent. <laughs> excellent, guys. Uh, just in the last, in the last uh, sentence, I'll, I'll be happy to assist you with that. I'll, I'll be, happy. be happy to assist. Yes, it means that uh, I will. Okay, uh, we haven't studied that. Okay. So we could use also, I would, I would be happy to assist you and we can change it and uh, it will be like this. I, uh, I, okay. I, I can see it very well. Let's see the color for, I'm going to add some text here. There you go. I, Okay, I'd, it means I would, okay. I'd be happy to uh, assist. assist you. Okay, and then with that and et cetera. Okay, there you go. 
Okay, teacher. What do you think about this conversation, guys? Um, Basic. Um, uh, is Uh oh, the internet connection. So you got frozen. Let's tell him. Hello, hello, teacher. Okay, you were frozen. <laughs> and uh, my internet is 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 it's bad connection uh, right now. <laughs> okay, it's unstable. Unstable. I'm stable. Okay. Okay, no problem. Um, but let's try. Let's try and let's continue practicing. Okay. Now you may switch if you want. Okay. I'm going to leave the room okay. and then and then uh, uh, we are going to uh, pass to the next topic too. Okay. See you there. See you. Hello, how did you feel this conversation? This activity was good? Did you? Yes, teacher. Yes, good. Okay, do you feel confident now to uh, express a problem with the product and also identify a solution and also offer the solution? Do you think it will be possible now for you? Yes, teacher. I, I, okay. we, I, I, I would like to, to practice with that. Okay, um, great. Great. So now we are going to continue with this because uh, this is very important. It's a very common thing in our companies. So we usually buy things and we usually have problems and issues with products that we buy over there, right? And we need to make contact with someone who can help us to, to fix or to get a solution about that. Now, if you see, we did, we completed activity number six, okay? Number six, create okay. a conversation where you are dissatisfied, but also we used would like, okay? Would like. So now let's go and see this. We, in our manuals, we have, what options would you give your customer if, a product you offer is not on good conditions. Ah, so it means that we can offer for a refund, 
we can offer for a, uh, offer an exchange. We can also offer the return information of the process. Okay, so we may give um, many solutions like repairing the product, like also checking the warranty policy for them and see if it applies. So now let's go and let's read. In activity two, we have to read the following refund form. There are some rules. There are some rules in the company that they established uh, uh, in advance before that a problem shows up or, for, or, or comes up. The problem here is that sometimes customer usually doesn't read, okay? You, do you read all the policies when you buy a product? Do you read the policies? Ustedes leen la, la política de, de uh, la mon, el dinero de regreso, las garantías, eh, cómo retornar un producto, cómo devolverlo si está dañado, etc. ¿Lo hacen? In my, in my case, yes, teacher. I, I'm usually, I take, take a note of the, this uh, condition and uh, when, when I bought a, a Another uh, X product, I, I usually take a note because okay. in my in my case, I I have a experience with that um, the product of your con your buy I, it's mm -hmm. in offer and don't have a refund or exchange. <laughs> yes, it's true. On sale, on sale. On sale means with a lower price, okay? On sale means on a lower price or with the same amount, more product, okay? With the same price, more product. That's on sale, on sale, okay? So yes, it's correct. And it's very good that you um, take the time to read the policies, to refund or to exchange or to repair, because usually customers don't read. And the customer agent has the obligation or has the um, opportunity to educate the, the customer educate the customer. So let's read here, okay? Let's read. Can you please read these three notes we have here? These three notes. Uh, can you please read number one? Uh, Angeli. Um, please note, what are customer satis satisfaction? Warranty is um, nine, nine, 90. 90 days from date of purchase. Okay. How long, how long is the warranty here? Three months. 90 days. 90 days. 90 days. From Three date months. of purchase. Okay. So let's read number two. Number two, please. Uh, next day. Leslie, can you read number two, please? Are you having problems too? Uh, teacher. Yes, tell me. Uh, la cámara la tengo encendida, solamente que me queda oscura. Okay, no problem. We can hear you. And 
we can see you over there. No problem, no problem. Mm. Could you please read number two? It's oh, not exactly there. Okay, then Fausto, please, can you read number two? Retain a court record, include the original with the. Okay, retain a copy of your record and close the original with the merchandise. Okay, number three, Rosa, please. Okay, teacher. Use online for adding all, all quantities are to report in each space all instance returning, returning will require the original order numbers recorded on the for the personal credit can be processed. Okay, thank you very much, Rosa. I'm going to read it again for everyone, okay? It says, number three, use one line per item. Use one line per item. All quantities are to be reported in each space. All quantities are to be reported in each space. All items returned will require the original order number recorded on the form so credit can be processed, okay? Can be processed. So what are they saying there? That the detail here has to be correct in order to, ha to have your credit back to your credit card, okay? So let's see here. Let's see here. It says, let's read, let's read the, these two questions to understand this, okay? Number one. What are the reasons the customer wants a refund? What are the reasons the customer wants a refund? Do you see here the relevant reason? Um, letter D, dissatisfaction. And PP, uh, product performance. Okay the satisfaction and the product performance. Product performance, excellent. Okay, those are the reasons you see, but what is the relevant reason or the cost? The cost, there are some missing parts, okay? It has missing parts. So that's the problem here. So you may read, you may write there the satisfaction and the product performance. Those are the reasons. So will the customer get the refund? Would the customer get the refund? Let's see. Over here. What do you think? Is this customer going to receive the, the refund? The date of purchase is the 23, I'm sorry, the um, November 23rd, right? November 23rd. Okay, let's imagine, or if, can we see any date here where they are sending these? Do you see any date here? Do you see any date? where they are reporting or asking for this refund? No, right? So we have to answer that. We have to answer that. 
if the purchase was within the 90 days from that date, the date of purchase, okay, then he is going to receive the, they are going to receive the refund, okay? That's the condition here in this note. That's the condition. Uh, they are going to receive the refund if it is within 90 days. Okay, you may give that answer here. So let's write this. Does anybody want to write that over here, please? Uh, write the answers. Can someone? Write the answers. Yes, teacher. If the if the Porsche Porsche uh -huh. uh, before uh, ninety days. Okay. Yes, the yes they are okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see the customer. So we are gonna say he. Okay, he is, he would. Let's remember to use the information on the question. Would the customer get the refund? Yes, he would. Why? Be if they, again, if they claim or the refund is within 90 days because that's the condition, okay? If the claim for the refund is within 90 days, correct? Do you have any question about this? Okay, and what are the reasons the customer wants a refund? Uh, dissatisfaction. And the product performance. Okay. Okay. Good. Any question? I don't have a question, teacher. Okay, we have 10 minutes right now. So I'm going to send you a link, okay? I will send you a link and you will find an exercise. This is just grammar using would like. Now, let me explain you something. When we use would like, okay, let me tell you this. Okay, would like always go this particle here, okay? Would like to, would like to, okay? Because this is a complete phrase saying, or this is the same as if you are saying that you are or loving to do something, okay? 
loving to do something. In this case also is you want to do something, okay? But if you have, for example, here, will the customer get, ah, so there is no like over there, right? And the number two, and the number two, we don't have like, we have would get, ah, then it means a possibility, okay? Or probability. Correct? Good, would get. Get could be any verb or any action, okay? Get could be any verb. For example, just to example, I would do the best, okay? I would do the best. This is a sentence using would without like to, okay? If you see, they are two different uses. This is one use and this is another use, okay? So here, if you see, sorry, I'm going to select this and I'm going to move it for you to see clearly, let's see, oh, over there. So if you see here, would the customer get, you don't find over there liked, okay? So now in this moment, we are going to practice phrases saying that someone wants to do something in a very polite way using would like to, okay? Now I'm going to send you the link because it's very short that it's very, very short and I will send it right now for you. Just let me, um, oh my God. Okay. I'm so sorry to hear that and to see that it was Leslie, I think, right? Leslie is with a candle. Power went out. Power went out. Se fue la luz. Okay, power went out. Okay, let me let me send you the link. If you are not able to finish right now, it's not a problem. You may finish at home. Okay, but let me send you the link. There you go. You have it in the group right now. Do you see the link? Are you able to see it? Yes, it's true. Okay. So please click on the link and it takes you to a grammar exercise. That's for you to choose the correct answer. Okay.
How is it going? Teacher, uh, uh -huh. uh, I have a uh, eighty-three percent. Okay, good, good. Which one was incorrect? Uh, we would like to dinner, and oh, the okay. other I would like to to a restaurant. Oh, okay, okay. So the correct answer for those are to go to a restaurant. Okay. And the other was to have dinner, okay? Have to dinner. have dinner. Mm -hmm. There you go. How okay. was it, Edward? Uh, este uh, one thousand percent percent. Wow! Oh my God, you're you're the one. You're the one. There you go. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think you got the idea. Okay. You got the idea. So when you use I would like to, then you use a verb, okay? I would like to, an action, okay? There you go. How is it going, Elvia? Good? Elvia, are you there? No. Okay, there you go. To Do you have any question? Todas. Correctas. Good, good. You see, you are good at reading. You are good at reading English. Very good, excellent, excellent. So let's see, everyone is okay with this activity? Because right now it's 10 o'clock, so I'm taking the attendance and this will be the last activity, okay? Angeli Magali Coronado Diaz. Present teacher. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. Carlos Ernesto Rogel. Eduardo Ademir Noyola Brito. Present teacher. Eleani Alejandra Nativi Rivera. Elvia Yanet Beltrán de Cabrera. Present teacher. Fausto Antonio Landaverde López. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Carla Marielos Guevara Callejas. Present Les teacher. Okay. Leslie Fernandez Ochoa. María Fernanda Gavidia Guerrero. Que se fue la luz donde Leslie. Yes, it's true. It's true. Uh, Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. Rosa Esperanza Vázquez de Girón. Sandra Beatriz, uh, Rosa Esperanza. She got disconnected too. Yeah, she got disconnected also. Okay, um, but she was there. Rosa Esperanza Vázquez de Girón. Sandra Beatriz Hernández okay. Martínez. Present teacher. Okay, Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. <laughs> Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. I got disconnected too, I think. 
William Isaac Montoya. Present teacher, estaba haciendo la actividad, pero no me podía conectar. Oh, okay, sure, no problem, no problem. I okay. got the, yeah, I took the attendance. Okay, okay, guys, I think class is dismissed. Just remember, please, to do your homework. Go to the platform. You may watch the videos the time, the time that you want, okay? Anytime. Okay. Uh, that you want to do it and okay. let's see today is the turn for let's see Fausto Antonio right Fausto Antonio Landaverde Lopez is your turn today for assistance good for the assessment there you go so okay everybody excuse me Okay, goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Have a, a great rest. Okay. Have a good night. Yes, we see you on Monday. See you on Monday. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay, Fausto, here we are. How can I assist you today? Okay, yes, I can hear you. Uh, uh, in the part, uh, I don't, oh, well, the part that I don't know is the uh, uh, well, what's in the último que dijo the May in May. Okay. Okay, the last uh, topic from yesterday, okay? Just let me go there. Okay, the uses of may and might are, okay, let's see here, there we go. Do you see here, may and might, they are two auxiliaries, okay? Uh, that makes that the action uh, give the idea of possibility. It could be, or it is probable that that action happen, okay? So that is why we use may or might. Mm, may, may, is also used for permission. And usually when we use may is for permission and possibility, okay? Permission and possibility. And might is more used um, to express probability, okay? Probability. So, um, what is the the the, the that, that you have about may and might? What is the problem here for you? Uh, what is? Uh, uh, identity and the situation. To identify. Okay, see, yes. To identify which of those uh, uh, you can use. Yes. Yeah. Okay, you are going to master this only with practice, but the meaning, the meaning, I'm going to give you just like um, an idea in Spanish, okay, in Spanish. There, in our language, there are things that you are allowed to do because, um, it's the rule because um, 
that is the way to do it, okay? Or maybe, let's think, let's think. When we think about asking for permission in any, in any field, then you are going to use may. For example, may I go with you? Okay, may I go with you? It's a possibility, but it is also asking for permission. Why a possibility? Because you are allowed to tell me, yes, you may, or no, you may not, okay? But is that I am asking for permission. And Spanish is the same thing. Uh, for example, when a kid says to his father, uh, may I go with you, daddy? He's asking for permission, but he's waiting for, he's waiting for this possible answer. And the possible answer is yes or no, right? So that's the idea, okay? That's the idea. En español nosotros muchas veces decimos, um, puedo ir contigo, okay? Pero qué tal si yo dijera, ¿podría ir contigo? ¿Veo la diferencia entre los dos? Ajá. Una es como, y si le permite la persona, en ese caso, que lo podría acompañar, ¿no? Uh -huh. Es como un permiso, digamos. Exactly. Ajá. Using may. Uh -huh. Permission. Ajá, okay. Y en my, en my, eh, como dijo que, que, como dijo la oración. It's a probability. Podría... It's a probability. Yeah. Okay. Ajá. It's a probability. So, in this case is like, I might go with you. I might go with you. It doesn't give the idea of permission, okay? It gives the idea of, um, it's important if I go, it's important if I go, but you are allowed to tell me not to go, okay? So it's important that I go, but you may tell me, please, no, okay? So that's the idea. That's the idea. You get it? This is only with practice that you are going to feel when and where exactly. But at this moment, what you have to think is, does it give the idea of permission or do, or am, do I want to ask for permission or it's a probability? So let's see here some examples, okay? Some examples. For example, this. Hey, follow me. You may follow me. Uh -huh. You may follow me. I am giving the permission. Okay. This is the idea. I am giving the permission to follow my steps. Okay. To follow my steps or go um uh go with me too right so this is one idea so in this case if i say you might follow me is that you could um follow or do what I do, okay? You could do what I do. Correct? You got the idea there. It's important that you follow my steps. Yeah, it's important. But you could do what I do to do the things correctly if I am going to do the, the if I am doing something correctly, then you are going to do the things cor correctly. You might follow me, okay? Mm 
And that's not a permission. Might is not, it's not a permission. It's like a probability, okay? A probability. Okay? Do you think you may give me uh, an example of using may? I mean, uh, an example using may. Uh -huh. uh, using may, asking for permission of something or giving or allowing someone to do something. Okay. I can. I can pay. Again. May I? Uh huh. I I can. I, 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 me. Uh -huh. May I? I can make. Um, to go to the beach. Okay, may I go to the beach? There you may go. I go may I go to the beach? What do you think? Are you sick? Do you have money? Um, do you have a car in good conditions? Um, do you have company to go? Okay, then you may go. You see? May I go to the beach? No. And then I can tell you. Question. Yes. This is a question. This is a question. Mm -hmm. May I go to the beach? Remember that may is at the beginning in a question. Okay. Now, if we want to say I may go to the beach, ah, then I have another option. Okay. I have another option. So it's a possibility that I go to the beach. So I may go to the beach. I may go to the beach. Uh huh. But if you don't go to the beach, where you may go? I may go to the beach or uh, to giving another option, right? Or to the mountain, for example. Two options. I may go to the beach is a probability 50 50, right? 50 50, two possibilities, two options. Got it? Okay, this is the idea you gave me. This is the idea you gave me. But for example, if I say, may I eat this chicken? What is the idea there? I'm asking for permission, okay? I'm asking for yeah. permission. So you can tell me, uh, no, you may not. That's mine. Correct? Okay. So asking for permission. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then is, is the question and uh, no, normally uh, is the uh, child uh, another person? Usually, yes. You allow to a different person, person to. Yes, correct. Okay. Usually, you use may to allow someone to do something or to ask for the permission of doing something. 
Okay, maybe you ask to your boss, maybe you ask to your, well, in this case, I don't know, to your wife or to your girlfriend to do something, or maybe to your parents to do something, or maybe to a very good friend to do something. You ask for permission, okay? okay. That's using me, okay? That's using okay. me. Now that let's see. Okay, now let's think with this idea. I'm hungry, okay? I'm hungry. This is the problem here. I'm hungry and I tell you, Fausto, I'm really hungry. And you have a chicken, okay? You have some chicken there, okay? Maybe two chicken breasts. And then you tell me, you tell me, um, what do you think if I say, I'm hungry, Fausto? Ah, you might eat the chicken, okay? For not being hungry anymore. It's not permission. Here is not permission. Uh, Esto es como si yo te digo, mira, yo tengo hambre. Entonces tú me buscas una solución que yo puedo decir sí o no la quiero. Ok, tú me buscas una solución y entonces, hey, mira, deberías comerte el pollo. Ok, you might eat the chicken. Yes, because we have a long way to drive, for example. Yes. Mm -hmm. You got it? Mm -hmm. For example, here, I don't say that I am hungry, but I ask for permission if I can get the chicken, your chicken, okay? That the chicken is yours. So you tell me, no, you may not, that's mine. Yeah. I'm hungry too, okay? <laughs> So you are not giving me the permission to eat that chicken, correct? <laughs> Do you okay. see the difference? Okay. Yes, yes. Sí, ya más o menos. Okay, then I... Yes. I strongly recommend that you to practice. Um, I'm going to send some exercises on the WhatsApp too, okay? Uh, to give you the, um, to give you some more exercises to practice. I mean, to give you the opportunity to feel the difference between one and the other, okay? Because this is not so easy and our language is very, uh, we, we could say, florido, nuestro lenguaje es muy florido, okay, but el español, but in English yeah. we have yeah. only these two words to say this in the exact way, like permission or probability or possibility, so yes, it's, it's very important to practice. I'm going to send some uh, reading and some um, listening activities, okay? for you to get the idea because then you are going to feel the intonation and then you it's going to add more meaning for you, okay? Okay, teacher. Uh, in my case, uh, my problem is hablar, hablar en inglés. Todavía me cuesta formular las oraciones. Y, y pensar en, en inglés, porque siempre se me cruza y pensar okay. en español para después transmitir en inglés. Porque okay. en esa parte, mucho se me dificulta al momento de que podíamos hablar de algo. Ok, vaya, ahora vaya, voy a usar este tiempo y te voy a permitir que hablemos en español este momentito, aunque no debiéramos hacerlo así. Pero solo para darte una idea que sí, te sí. ayude, ok, like a tip. Eh, en español nosotros siempre 
para decir una idea, ¿cuál es la unidad completa para decir una idea? Una oración, right? Ok. So, in English, it's the same thing. La idea completa, the complete idea, and the minim, uh, minimum, minimal unit of expression, in this case, in a complete expression, is using a sentence. And let's remember that a sentence always, always is going to have a subject, okay? And also it's going to have the action. In this case, we could say the verb, okay? The verb and a complement. But if you are having trouble, if you are having trouble, the best thing is that never think of English. Okay. Don't think, I'm, I'm sorry, never think of English as if it were different, as you always speak, because they are very similar. Spanish and English are very similar. So don't think in Spanish to translate into English. No, just think of English as English and think of Spanish as Spanish. But el único caso en lo que yo te puedo decir que puedes pensarlo así solamente para iniciar, no es que te vas a quedar pensando así, ¿ok? Es que pienses en un sujeto, en una acción y el complemento. Casi siempre, o sea, en su mayoría hay un sujeto. Muy raras veces no se dice el sujeto. Por ejemplo, me compraron, decimos nosotros, ¿verdad? Me corté el pelo, no decimos un sujeto, ¿ok? Pero en ese caso lo vas a ir aprendiendo más adelante. Hasta este nivel en que estamos, usualmente, you are going to have a subject, a verb, and a complement to express the idea. Para expresar una idea completa, siempre ubícate en una oración. Siempre ubícate en una oración y simplifíquelo. Ok, simplifíquelo a lo más eh, básico posible. Como un sujeto, un verbo y un complemento. Simple. Ok, no debes complicarlo para comenzar a soltar la lengua. Okay, this is just a tip and I don't want to say too much speaking Spanish. But in this case, let's think. If you see here, I, okay, I, then the verb may go. The verb includes may, okay? I may go is the verb here. And then the complement to the beach, okay, or to the mountain, correct? So every, every time you think of English, think of the minimal expression, a sentence, a subject, a verb, and a complement, okay? Is that good? Okay, um, yeah. Yes, says uh, only uh, I have problem with my internet. Uh, yes, I'm seeing that you are having the problem. Yeah, I saw, I saw it, but I continue, I continue talking because you can see the video after. Okay, after you can see the video and the complete explanation. Okay. Por eso no me quedé callada, sino que continué hablando y tú puedes ver el final del video en donde ahí va a estar la respuesta a la pregunta que me hiciste, ¿ok? Me hizo. Ok, perfecto. perfecto. Ok, perfecto. there you go. So, uh, is there anything else that I can help you with? No, no, yeah? no, no. Ok, ok, then, no problem then. I am really happy for explaining this and if you have any other question during the class, tell me, okay? Tell me, it doesn't mean that you can't have another as um, another 
one-to-one -one session, okay? You may ask anytime you want, anytime you want on the WhatsApp, on um, the phone, you may call, you may text me and ask the question at the time that you need, okay? And remember to do your homework. It's gonna help you. Mm -hmm. Okay, there you go. Okay, then I think we finished, Fausto. Yes, it. Okay, then have a good night then. There you go. Okay, then, Fausto. You may have a good night. <laughs>